Now CBS2 brings you more top stories covering the corridor. We pick up in Iowa City where leaders are preparing to sign off on a financial boost for a number of local groups. It's money that many local agencies depend on to survive and since taxpayers are footing the bill, we sent CBS2 News reporter Brittany Borgi to figure out just how crucial those dollars really are. Brittany? Yeah, Scott and Tiffany, the county is about to sign off on $1.1 million in community block grants. Sorry, we've got some emergency sirens behind us right now. Um, and the money goes to organizations that help survivors of domestic violence or people who are just in need of a free meal. I got to sit down with two of those organizations today who say without this community block grant funding, their budgets would crumble. At the Iowa City Free Medical and Dental Clinic, the phone rings off the hook with people looking for appointments. Last year, the clinic gave more than 2,000 people free care. This year, one quarter of their budget, or $105,000, will come from the community block grant. One of the things that our staff do very well is take advantage of every dollar and make the most of every dollar. For every dollar they get, the clinic gives patients five dollars worth of services. And even though some think free clinics will expire because of the Affordable Care Act, the clinic doesn't expect to get fewer calls. We do not want to remove the current safety network, which includes the Iowa City Free Medical Clinic, until we have clear evidence that it's no longer needed. So this grant money and donations are just as important as ever. The story is slightly different at UAY, United Action for Youth. They depend on county dollars to act as matching funds to get federal grants to keep up services like their music and arts program for nearly 2,000 kids. If we didn't have this funding, we wouldn't be able to go after the larger federal grants that are available. This year, UAY lost a crucial federal grant that helped run their street outreach program. It helped house hundreds of homeless kids in Johnson County. Literally 300 kids who will not receive those services because we don't have the funding to do so. So while the $107,000 they'll get from the county makes up 10% of their budget, every penny still counts. The Board of Supervisors will vote on renewing those community block grants at their meeting this Thursday. Covering the corridor in Iowa City, Brittany Borgie, CBS 2 News.